and I'm going to show you how Electrical V8R1 handles uh, PLC automatic numbering. So this is available in the standard and advanced version. So what I'm going to do is just create a new page. I'm going to put it in the uh, PLC section. <coughs> and by default, whenever I place a PLC card, so if I go into input and I place in there an 8 input card, when I double click, scroll down to see the list of PLC addresses, I have to put this in automatically or manually, sorry. So I'd have to put this kind of thing and I'd then put the next one in and it would take quite a long time. Now previously, when I right click on the circuit diagrams and go to properties, I could go into the PLC addressing and I could change that for instance to decimal. Now the format is always, previously was always fixed, which is digit dot digit. So if I put one in, press enter, then the rest number automatically. But as soon as I change that format, for instance, if I had a forward slash as a separate separator between the byte and the bit, then automatically nothing happens. So what we can now do, right click into properties and we can go down to user defined. And in here we can set the uh, separator and put perhaps a forward slash, put the counting to decimal maybe. Number of byte characters is two, so I'm going to put that there and two for that one. <coughs> and I'm going to say maximum of up to seven, so it's octal numbering. And you can see the prefix, two digits, forward slash two digits. So I've changed the numbering format and most numbering formats are now available. So if I go into here, I can look down the list and I can put the last one in and that will automatically number now. So if I put a colon in between, you can see that automatically numbers. If I put a larger card in, for instance, if I get out <coughs> an Alan Bradley, let's go for a control logics. Scroll across and see if I can find a 16. And then if I scroll down for the addressing, let's put that as being. And you can see once it gets to eight bytes, it then bits, it then increments the byte and the addressing is handled. All good.